We're back! Part 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, right here. Sonic Month rolls on. Let's do an Aquatic Ruin Zone. Stage 3? Yeah? Those arrows that shoot out of those little guys cost me more lives as a kid than I'd like to admit. Fuck those arrows. Ugh, almost in the back of the head. Aquatic Ruin Zone, it's kind of, eh, as much as I love this game, I always felt it was kind of a Marble Hill Zone ripoff from Sonic 1. In a way, I guess. I mean. Secret. Yeah, if you're ever in doubt about a secret in a Sonic game, just go on top of the loop. Nine times out of ten, there's some good shit up there. <laughs> We're gonna just keep setting the rooftops. Look at that secret checkpoint. Good stuff. And I'm aware I have not done one bonus stage in this Let's Play yet. Um, even though I keep hitting checkpoints with over 50 rings. Next time I'll do it. I'm actually not a huge fan of the uh, the mini game in Sonic 2. The half pipe. I mean, at the time, graphically, yeah, it was cool to see. And it, as a kid, it was it was awesome to just keep making them do fucking loops over and over. But it does not hold up that well, honestly. Maybe the worst thing about this game is the bonus stage. See ya, Tails. Tails must be on Adderall or something, like, all the time. He's always in such a goddamn hurry to get wherever he's in. And I don't know why he's in a hurry. He's in a hurry to die. It's not like he does shit. And I want to correct myself. Yes, you can select your character in Sonic 2. You can choose to be Tails, Sonic, or both. Uh, yeah. I'm still going to be Sonic, by the way. It's back here. Down. Oh, damn it! some bubbles. I need some bubbles. There's some. Come on, come on. Try doing that in real life once. If you're ever about the Oh fuck! I forgot about the four high arrows. If you're ever about to drown in real life, just find some bubbles and see how that goes for you. <laughs> just wait on the biggest bubble, though. What's crazy about this level, like, a couple more less placements of those bubble things, like, if, if there were less of them, this level would suck. It would be almost impossible. So they definitely, there's a plethora of those bubble things to get you through. Maybe some oxygen. <laughs> But I shudder to think what it would be with, like, two of those on the level. Must hit that arrow, too. Here we go! It's boss time! I'll stop saying that. This is one of the easier, maybe the easiest boss fight in the whole game, for me. Literally just wait for the arrows to come. And then you wait for the right height and jump on it and stomp Robotnik's dick and Eggman, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Boom.
Tails actually did something. Look at that. Holy shit. This is one of the most boring boss fights ever, too. Like, I, I could so take a nap right now just waiting on these little arrows. I got one ring, and I'm not even sweating it. Ruin zone in the books. That's it. Fare thee well, Robotnik. Bop our heads to the beat as we move on to the best goddamn level in the history of Sonic games. Finally, it is time to play Casino Night Zone, pal. Let's do it. Got it. the Harbinger for the game Sonic Spinball. This level right here, which that game gets a bad rap from Pinball Pierce. Yes, I get it. It's a little slower compared to awesome pinball games on Sega, especially like Psycho Pinball, but I always like Sonic Spinball. I never beat it. I never got close to beating it, but it's... I like it. You could do much worse on the Sega than Sonic Spinball, so... Calm your tits, people. Gado, gado, gado! And I'll, I'll hand to God, bro, I'll say it right here. This level flat out is why this game is my favorite Sonic game. And the addition of the spin dash for the first time, the two sole reasons this game is my favorite. This level is so goddamn good. I know if you never played it, it looks fun as shit, right? It is. Until that happens. Luckily, there's, there's little, uh insect robot things or whatever if you get all robotniks they uh they don't kill you if you had a rings but if you have rings they will take all your rings Not falling for that again. You can stay down there if you want, Tails. As you can tell by now, too, like most games, the longer you get into the game, the levels are getting longer. Which is fine. There's never really too dull of a moment in any part of the game, except for probably that last boss fight, but I don't mind the levels getting longer if they're fair and they're fun, basically. Come on, get up there. Just gotta rock it back and forth like like a pirate ship at a carnival. Bumpers can either be your best friend on this level or your worst goddamn nightmare, depending on what direction you want to go.
Ooh. Sonic just takes it like a man, too. Like, that. All over the place. And that's Act 1 in the books. I will say this. I was talking to my buddy. Shout out to Colonel Fancy on YouTube. Get over there. Check him out. Great guy. I was talking to him uh, the other day. Said how he's going to be there day one. He feel It's his obligation. His childhood obligation to be there day one for the live action Sonic movie. I won't be there. Probably at all in theaters to see it. I'll probably red box it. It looks... Eh, we all know how the Sonic live action movie looks so far, but... I don't expect good things, so it's not like I can be disappointed. But I'm glad you're hyped for it, Colonel. Come on, give me the god damn it! Daddy needs a new pair of fucking shoes. By the way, the boss in this level, yes, it can be a dick, it can be hard, a lot of people hate it, but there is a cheap trick to beating it, not the band cheap trick, there is a cheap tactic to beating the boss, not really cheap, but I'll show you when we get there, and he's, he's a pushover. It might be a cheap trick. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Saw a bunch of rings down there. Oh yeah, 30 rings. Give me them. I keep forgetting the bonus stage, by the way. Just remembered again. Whoopsie daisy. Maybe my problem with the bonus stages in this game is that they're just kind of too easy. The first one's bonus stage I'm no huge fan of. Here we go. Speaking of bonus stage, let's finally do it. There it is. There's the legendary half pipe of doom. Full of balls and gold and bullshit. I mean, you gotta think, man. 92, 91, whenever this dropped. This was mind-blowing to see on a Sega. Uh, this was tremendous. As a kid, visually, this stimulated everything for me. Oh, ho, ho. And see, that's my problem. Just like that, we're three rings away from a checkpoint. And that's all you do. You just keep getting the rings, dodge the little black uh, whatevers. There's nothing to it, really. Those hills can be a bitch on the later bonus stages. Because they'll throw some of those in there when you go down the hill, which isn't fair. So just kind of always be prepared to jump when you go downhill. See, it just gets monotonous, like, just end it already. That's how I feel every time I play these bonus stages, just fucking end it already. Come on, just give me the goddamn Chaos Emerald. <laughs> and there it is. One step closer to Super Saiyan. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, like I said, nothing to it. If you can't get the first Chaos Emerald in this game, you flat out suck. You, you're terrible. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but God, so easy. Alright, back to business. Let's get to this boss.
Come on. Give me what I want. Give me what I need! I don't know why I did that. God damn it. Super Saiyan, you can get stuck in limbo if you don't hit them right. See you, Tails. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your guys' favorite Sonic level of all time in any of the games? Curious to see your guys' answers. And it's time for this bastard boss. I'll show you the trick here. Second. Now you would think you use your flippers and all that good shit to kill him like you're playing pinball and yada yada yada. I'll tell you the problem with that. That's your problem. There's exhibit A. Why you don't want to do it like this. Because a lot of times you leave yourself open when you fall down. Now the trick is you just wait. Patience is virtue and you just use a little patience like this. Dodge those fucking things. But it's all you gotta do. It might take a little longer. It makes the honestly, it makes the boss fight a hell of a lot more boring. But it gets the job done. Especially for a game like this, you want to get the job done as fast as possible. Fucking tails. Obviously not a pinball player. What the fuck is Tails even doing? That's, logically, what the fuck? I know I said Tails gets a bad rap, but why does Sonic keep him around as a sidekick? At least Luigi was just as goddamn strong as Mario, and that's it. That's in the books. This is in the books. This has been Sonic 2! Part 2, right here on Hibiki TMB. Sonic Month rolls on. Check it out next time, Part 3, as we continue our journey down the halfpipe of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hit that subscribe right down below. Follow me on Twitter at the Hibiki TMD for all the best in retro gaming and pro wrestling goodness. Until next time, Hibiki please.